hi and hello to everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the phase relationship between two sinusoids okay particularly we are going to take two sinusoid and we are going to find out which sinusoidal signal is leading or which sinusoidal signal is lagging and what is the phase relationship phase nothing but the angle between the two sinusoids okay we are taking the first example we are taking a signal v1 which is minus 10 cos omega t plus 50 degree the second signal second sinusoid v2 which is 12 sin omega t minus 10 degree the question is calculate the phase angle between the two signals v1 and v2 and state which is leading right now we are going to use a graphical approach okay see why graphical approach is uh, easier is we, we do not want to memorize all the trigonometry identities if you understand the graphical approach like way for this we are taking the horizontal axis as cos omega t and the vertical axis which is coming down as sin omega t right so you would be knowing that if what about this axis then this would be minus sin omega t this would be minus cos omega t right and go the, you please write the angle this angle we know this is 0 degree this is 90 degree this is 180 this is 270 right and uh, we very well know if you are going in uh, counterclockwise direction this direction right it will angle would be positive okay you can write counterclockwise or anti clockwise counter clockwise there is nothing but the anti clockwise you will be writing the angle as positive And if you are going in clockwise, the angle is negative. Okay. So you see here, if you are going in this way, the angle would be 0 degree, 90 degree, 180, 270, 0. Suppose you are going in clockwise direction. Okay, so I can write this angle as minus 90 degree, this is minus 180 degree, this is minus 270 degree, this is back to 0 degree. Clear? Now, uh, the, with this, we can write out easily write out the trigonometry identities. Okay, you see here, what are the trigonometry identities? Uh, you see here, okay, we are in this axis, sign. If you are going by 90 degree, this way. Right, if you are going from here to here by 90 degree, why I am putting positive 90 degree? I am going in counterclockwise direction from this way. Okay, so I can write the first trigonometry identity which is sine omega t plus 90. Where I am going? That is nothing but the cos omega t. Nothing but the cos omega t. Okay. Is this okay? Now, if I am going from the cos omega t going 90 degree. Okay. So, I can write cos omega t. cos omega t plus 90 that is this is the cos axis 90 degree I am moving in counterclockwise direction I am going to minus sin omega t ok similarly you can try for others right you see here uh, I can write it for this axis 
right so if i am at sin minus sin omega t okay plus 90 i will be going to minus cos omega t right because this this is the first and this third one are the same minus minus will get cancelled right okay i hope uh, it's okay now similarly if you go in the counter clockwise direction right you see you are in cos omega t axis you are going by minus 90 degree where you will go you will go to sin omega t right so i can clearly write cos omega t minus 90 degree i will go to sin omega t okay and i can also write it here if i am in sin omega t if i go minus 90 degree where i will go i go to minus cos omega t sin omega t minus 90 degree i will go to minus cos omega t other relationship like you see here if you are going from cos omega t 180 degree this is 180 degree okay you are you will go you will go to minus cos omega t okay that also you can write cos omega t plus 180 degree you will go to minus cos omega t similarly you can go from sin omega t 180 degree if you go this way this is 180 degree you will go to minus sin omega t okay these are the some trigonometry identities which should be helpful for you right no need to memorize you go to minus okay right with this in mind now easily we can can we can find out the phase relationship between v1 and v2 okay first uh, to find out the phase relationship always remember that you should have the same frequency that is the both the signals should have the same omega values okay here both are having same omega okay so that means we are ready to find out the phase relationship okay next um, it is always easier to have both the signals either in the same cosine or same as sine okay here this is in cos this is sine so try to convert this sine to cos and ensure that you have the same polarity okay this is minus so try to convert this into positive okay so uh, i am going to write v1 as positive so converting minus cos to minus cos to plus cos well, how will you do converting the minus cos to plus cos just you add the angle 180 degree that's it okay minus cos to plus cos you just add 180 degree or you can subtract minus 180 degree both are same plus 180 degree or minus 180 degree so it becomes 10 cos omega t plus 230 degree okay now coming to v2 what is v2 it is in sin try to convert that into cos okay so if you take the entire term let's look at here we are in sin okay we are we need to go to cos okay what is the relationship sin theta plus 90 is equal to cos cos theta okay right or i can say sin theta plus 90 is cos theta right okay this is one thing the second thing i can write um 
cos theta minus 90 is sin theta. That is, you are in cos theta. If you subtract minus 90 degree, we will come, come to the sin theta. Okay. Now, the entire thing. Now, the entire thing, you can take it as theta. Now, the entire thing, you can take it as theta. Okay. So, when we are in sin theta, we want to convert to cos theta. Okay. So, how can I write? We have sin theta. We need to go to cos theta. So, we need from here, we are going here. Okay. So, I can simply write as 12 cos, what is theta here? Omega t minus 10. Omega t minus 10 minus 90 degree. Okay. Right. That is very simple. We need sin. We are in sin theta. We need to go to cos theta. So, this entire term is theta. Okay. So, from sin theta, we are going to cos theta minus 90. Right. Okay. So, you can, can rewrite this. It is 12 cos omega t minus 100 and minus 100 degree. Okay. Now, you find out the angle relationship okay find out the angle relationship what is the angle relationship where we are uh, both are both are in cos we are converted both the v1 and v2 in terms of cos both are this is positive plus 10 and plus 12 amplitude plus 10 and plus 12 okay so what is the relationship between these two signals right what is the angle easily you can say this is 120 what is the difference it is a difference between this angle and this angle difference between this term and this term. So, I can say phase angle difference between V1 and V2 is 230 degree minus what is the second phase angle? It is minus 100 degree. So, it is 330 degree. So, I can simply say V1, say we are subtracting the angle V1 angle and minus V2 angle, right? So, I can say V1 is leading V2 by 330 degree. Okay, right? So, this is the way we, how we will work, right? So, simple, we need to have know the trigonometric uh, uh, conversion, right? Ensure that you are converting this this sign to cos and this negative value to positive value just by adding 180 degree or subtracting 180 degree. Then find out, now when both are in cos and both are have the positive amplitude, you can easily write this relationship. Find out the difference between 230 degree minus of this angle, which is minus 100. So, minus or minus 100, 230 degree. So, V1 is leading v2 by 330 degree okay now we will use the pure graphical approach which is very easy okay we we'll go to the next method right we'll go to the next method uh, straight away we will use only the graphical approach write the question again we have the v1 Okay. So, this is what you have. So, see here, we will do it very fast. So, we know this axis is, we are taking this axis as cos omega t and this axis is sin omega t. Okay. Right. This is the graphical approach. Okay. So, if, uh, so this would be definitely minus sin omega t. This would be definitely minus cos omega t. Now, you see here, where we are now? 
we are here it's minus cos so minus cos is this this line is minus cos okay so the, what is the angle it is 50 degree plus 50 degree right so plus 50 degree means from here we have to go by 50 degree okay so from this axis that is the minus cos axis you go by 50 degree Fifty degree. Okay, so this is your V one. Clear. Now, what about the second one, V two? From sine, we are going by angle minus ten degree. Okay, which is this is the sine axis. If you are going by minus ten, we have to move in clockwise direction this way, right? Okay, this is minus 10 degree. Okay, this is your V2. Right? Now, what is the angle difference between V1 and V2? Okay, you can see here the angle difference. Angle difference is this. This is the angle difference. Okay. So if this angle is 50, you know the angle between this and this is 90 degree. Okay, this is 50, this is 10 degree, so the rest is, what is the angle, 30 degree. Okay, angle between V2 and V1, it is 90 degree is the total angle minus of 50, you subtract the remaining angles, you will be getting that is 30 degree okay so it's from this it's clear looking like you are v2 is leading by 30 degree v2 is leading v1 by 30 degree okay while using the previous trigonometric approach we got v1 is leading v2 by 330 degree okay why why the difference is it's very clear you see here if you go by this way okay this angle is 330 degree right this angle is 30 degree you can say v1 is leading v2 by 330 degree or v2 is leading v1 by 30 degree clear both are same you can say v1 is leading v2 by 330 degree clear okay now we work out one more problem i think this graphical approach is very easier for you right where to take i1 which is minus 4 sin 370 70 plus 55 degree i2 which is 5 cos 370 70 minus 65 degree okay so quickly we'll do so this is our cos axis this is our sin positive and we know this is minus sin this is minus cos okay so it is look here it is uh, from uh, minus sign we are going by the angle plus 55 degree okay so it is here this by degree so this is your i1 okay right Then come here, um, we are in the cos, we are going by minus 65. So this is cos, right? Minus 65 means we have to move in clockwise direction. Okay, 
so this is your i2 right now what is the angle relationship between i1 and i2 what is this angle what is this angle we know this is 90 okay 90 degree so the angle between the face angle between i1 and i2 which it is 55 plus 90 plus 65 what are you getting 1760 yeah you will be getting as 210 okay this 70 yeah 210 degree okay you can clearly say i1 is leading i1 is leading i2 by 210 degree or else if you want to say in this angle can you say what is this angle the entire thing is, entire angle is the entire angle is 360 degree so this angle is 210 this angle is 210 can you say what is this angle it is 360 minus 210 which is 150 degree which is 150 degree or else I can express same thing as I2 is leading I1 by 150 degree okay I think the graphical approach is very very easier clear Thanks for listening. Have a good day.